Hey gang. So causation is very different than correlation. And if you don't know what that means, I'm going to give you an example right now. So sometimes you hear that people with dogs live longer and people with dogs are healthier. And is that because a dog makes that person healthier and live longer and have better longevity? Or is it because, or is the dog a factor in that? Meaning somebody that has a dog is more likely to get outside daily, move more, get daylight exposure because they're walking their dog and therefore probably sleeping better. They do have some companionship with that dog. Um, they're probably more likely to spend time in nature, hiking, things like that. So when, when you hear some of these health claims and, and some of these things, think about the big picture, zoom out a little bit and look at pattern recognition as opposed to just, hey, a dog itself is, make, is gonna make you live longer. And another example is something like alcohol. People hear that people that, uh, you know, have a couple drink a drink or maybe a couple drinks a day, live longer and live healthier lives. Now, is that because that the alcohol itself um, is going to make that person live longer or is it because when drinks are consumed, it's usually in a social setting and it goes along with friends and community and laughter and a good time and um, learning new things via conversation, all that sort of stuff. So. It's important to look at look at these things in a big picture aspect as opposed to in isolation and how these things aren't necessarily just pure causation but are correlated with other healthy activities or healthy habits. So um, just something to think about. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about it, hit me up. And uh, yeah, I hope you got something from this, guys. See ya.